So you were saying, uh, usually you're kind of boobing about restaurants that deserve to close and stuff like that. Right. This dude, this just feels like a little bit more of a positive episode. Right. Uh, Do you want me to totally ruin that, though? Oh, no. Let's blow it up. Let's (laughs) build it up and break it down. So apparently there was a corporate pilot who stayed here in town not too long ago at the Fairbridge Inn and Suites, which personally I've stayed at and I've really liked. So I'm kind of horrified that this happened. Uh, But he woke up the next day with 80 bed bed bug bites all over him. Say that five times fast. I know, that was really hard. I had to yeah. really think about it. Um, and he actually took a short video where you can see the bugs like Yikes. crawling around. Oh, okay. Well, okay, here's a question um, for me because bed bugs don't happen to us here in Idaho Falls. Uh, to us IFers, <laughs> do they? They sure We're do. We're so clean. They, well, it has so little to do with clean. So though. did this filthy out of towner bring these <laughs> bed bugs? I'm kidding. No, <laughs> clearly not. Wow. But, but yeah, how awful is that, right? Well, okay, and here's the Can thing. Can you with- buy bed bugs off the internet? Did he bring just a Ziploc <laughs> bag of eighty of them and like? No way. I'm gonna screw these guys. They but didn't also- give me free coffee last time not worth it it's just not worth it yeah for the itchy gross awful bites and having to like i saw the bites yeah not only that can you imagine the risk of contaminating your own home right because it's so easy to do like they can get like uh the eggs can get left in like the folds of your suitcase and then when you take your clothes out of your suitcase and toss them on your bed now your home is infected and you have to spend thousands of dollars getting it uh Fumigated. Here's a fun new worry. I didn't quite realize when moving, you know, 1,500 miles mm-hmm. from Salt Lake City to Milwaukee for a gig once that they don't just throw your stuff in the moving van. They throw like four other families' stuff in the moving van. Oh. Did you know this? I did not know that. Yeah, but those that huge does... Atlas or whatever okay, that brand. that does kind of make sense. Rider, whatever. I don't want to call like, out y'all any. Y'all are all going the same direction. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. and they're, and while they're unloading, then they go and load again. And so things can okay. get mixed up with other people's things. Right, right. See, that's oh, why you geez. need to spray paint all of your boxes pink. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> or I something. guess, but hotels. Must have that problem a little bit because so many people are, especially in the summer, mm-hmm. coming from so many different places. Right, you never They open know. up their suitcase and there you go. Right, right. That's Yikes. the horrible thing of it. You know, and that being said, you would think that there'd be some kind of regulation helping to make sure that that doesn't happen. Yeah. But apparently there's not. You know, like they're not really held to any specific standard regarding bed bugs. Here at in least Idaho? As, yeah, at least as far as Idaho goes. Wow. That's, Isn't that horrifying? Can we maybe change that? Well, and, okay. Here's Just the asking. Thing. <laughs> right? Well, and here's the thing. So when I was married to my Mexican, um, he actually <laughs> at one point worked in a group home, and the group home ended up getting bed bugs at one point. And I was terrified of him bringing them home because I know that they are incredibly hard to get rid of and we were living in an apartment. Did he have to breaking bad fumigate? Oh, I had him stripped Hazmat, down. Yeah. So as soon as he got in the door, there was like a two by two tile section before he got to the carpet. In where, Idaho, we call that a mud room. <laughs> well, except that it wasn't a room, it was just right. a mud <laughs> patch. Yes, right. <laughs> a mud patch. <laughs> anyway, so I would make him strip down on the mud patch, put all of his clothes in a, a, a garbage bag that I'd be holding for him with my held with my head tilted back. Sure. And then, like I had like a plastic this poncho what, on. <laughs> but this is what you do to fishermen or hunters right. <laughs> when they come home. Yeah, they walk an inch into the house, uh-huh. and then or everything even better, comes if you've off. got a garage that you yeah. can get directly into the house from, yes. that's the place to garage be. Garage leading into a laundry mm-hmm. room. Right. That's I. That's ideal. Right. But anyway, so I had him stripped down. He immediately had to shower. And this is the entire time they had bed bugs. So it was day in, day out, every single time he came home. Wow. There was no coming home for lunch for him. Sure. Okay. Uh, and every single day or You're every not other welcome day. Here. <laughs> or every other day, we would take those clothes that were sitting in that grocery in that uh garbage bag and take them to a laundromat. He'd go in and take a shower. We'd wash those and then we'd be, okay, that's fine. But man, it like it terrifies me. The idea of getting bed bugs. It sounds and it looks horrible. Right, right. Well, and wow. a lot of people end up just having to throw out their entire mattress. Like and, you can't save it. And I love right. my mattress, so I'm not going to do that. 